Hi everyone, Miss Tui here. Our world is filled with different types of animals. There are mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, fish, and invertebrates. Just like you, animals inherit certain traits from their parents. Ozva is going to help you explore different traits animals can get from their parents, and you are going to use these traits to draw pictures of offspring. For today's lesson, you will need an Ozobot, fully charged and calibrated, color code markers, a pencil, and all three pages of your trait matchup activity sheets. In today's lesson, you will analyze the traits of two different animal parents, use lines to program your bot to randomly choose inherited traits from animal parents, and draw a picture of the offspring using the chosen inherited traits. Heredity is the passing of traits from parent to offspring. Mammal offspring can inherit or receive certain traits or characteristics from their parents. Some of these traits are eye color, eye shape, ear shape, height, tail length, fur color, or hair color. To begin, get out your trait matchup activity sheets. Look at the sheet with the dogs and find the pictures of the dog parents. Although both parents are dogs, they look very different. Let's carefully analyze or look at each dog to identify the differences in their traits or characteristics. Parent one has big eyes, while parent two has small eyes. Parent one has short pointed ears, while parent two has long floppy ears. Parent one has a triangular shaped nose, while parent two has a round nose. Parent one has larger paws with three toes, while parent two has smaller paws without toes. Parent one has a thin tail, while parent two has a fluffy tail. Finally, parent one does not have spots, whereas parent two has spots. Now look at the sheet with the cats and find pictures of the cat parents. Can you look at the different eyes, ears, noses, paws, fur, and tails of the cat parents? Now that you have analyzed the traits of different animal parents, it's time to make the map your Ozobot will use to choose the traits. Get out your trait matchup map and your color code markers. Notice there are six different pathways made up of intersecting lines. Intersecting lines are lines that share a common point. Ozobot will use its line sensor to input data about the relative location and width of the lines. Then Ozobot will use this data to output the action of following the lines. The start of each pathway is labeled with a different characteristic. Fur, eyes, nose, ears, tail, and paws. Find the parent key at the top of the map. Choose one color to represent parent one and a different color to represent parent two. I chose parent one to be red and parent two to be blue, so I colored the boxes in the key to match. I'm going to use my color code markers to complete each pathway by tracing the gray lines with black marker. Then I will color the boxes on the end of each pathway. One box will be red and the other will be blue. Can you use your color code markers to color the boxes in the parent key and to complete each pathway? You are ready for your bot. Since Ozobot has not yet been programmed to turn a set direction at an intersection, it will randomly choose each trait. Random means there's no way to predict the outcome. Let's watch my bot choose the traits for my first puppy. I put my bot on the start of the pathway to choose the fur for puppy one. My bot chose parent one. So I will circle the body of parent one to remember the fur puppy one will have.
Next, I put my bot on the start of the pathway to choose the eyes for puppy one. My bot chose parent two. I will circle the eyes of parent two to remember which eyes puppy one will have. Now I will put my bot on the start of the pathway to choose the nose. My bot chose the nose for parent two. I will circle the nose of parent two. I put my bot on the other three pathways. It chose the ears from parent two, the tail from parent two, and the paws from parent one. Now I will draw a picture of puppy one using the traits Ozobot chose from each parent. Here's what my first puppy looks like. Now it's your turn. Can you run your bot on each pathway, circle the traits of the parent your bot chooses, then draw a picture of puppy one? Now that you know that your bot follows lines to randomly choose a parent for each trait, you will repeat the process to determine the traits of puppy two. I ran my bot on each pathway and circled the traits in the pictures. My bot chose eyes, paws, and tail from parent one and ears and fur from parent two. Then I use these traits to draw a picture of puppy two. I wonder what your next puppy will look like. Can you run your bot on each pathway, circle the traits of the parents your bot chooses, then draw a picture of puppy two? Offspring inherit different traits from their parents. Different offspring can inherit different traits that the parents have. You will compare the traits of puppy one and puppy two. Let's look at my puppies. How can I tell the two puppies are related based on their inherited traits? Both puppies inherited paws from parent one. Both puppies inherited ears from parent two. Can you write to tell how your two puppies are related based on their inherited traits? I am having fun using my bot to explore how parents pass traits or characteristics onto their offspring. I'm so glad I get to continue the activity using cats. Are you ready to keep exploring on your own? Get out your trait matchup activity sheet with the cats on it. Can you run your bot to choose traits for kitten one and kitten two? Then compare the traits of the two kittens. Remember to check your work. Your map should have six different pathways with intersecting lines, two different colors at the end of each pathway. Your activity sheets should have the traits your bot chose circled on the pictures of the parents and a drawing of the offspring using the traits circled. Your work should show how Ozobot randomly chooses a trait from each parent and how offspring can inherit similar and different traits. If you're looking for more to do, use the blank map and activity sheet to complete the activity again with different mammals, fish, or birds. Or you can make a list of acquired traits a puppy or kitten could have. Acquired traits are traits that are learned. Come back again soon for our next lesson.